This shoot was for his autobiography called Managing My Life. In meetings with the publisher, I was told point blank that under no circumstances would Alex Ferguson be wearing makeup. I think that the people at the publishers were a little bit intimidated because he had a quite fearsome reputation. I explained to the publisher that I didn't feel that I should be constrained by the conventional ideas about what footballers should wear. Mr. Ferguson should come to the studio and have a rest, have a bit of a holiday from being Alex Ferguson, the football manager, and come into the world of being photographed as a subject. I think the publishers were a little wary of actually having that conversation. They thought that being a kind of alpha male and a leader of men, that he would balk at the prospect of having to wear makeup. Alex Ferguson spends a lot of time on the touchline. His skin is weather beaten. He might have a cheeky glass of wine after the match with Jose Mourinho or Kevin Keegan. And that takes its toll. So I was adamant that we did have to have grooming. We had to have hair and makeup. And as a precaution, on the night before the shoot, I went to Marks and Spencer's and I bought a black turtleneck, which is one of the easiest things to photograph people wearing because it's simple and elegant and it doesn't dis detract from the face. Your eyes go straight to the subject's face rather than a patterned shirt. I think he recognised that the photographic studio wasn't his domain and he was just going to relax and have a day off from managing the psychodramas of the different players and the various machinations of the Premier League and just have a break because he was calm, compliant, professional. I think he realised that I was a cog in the machine that would enable him to sell his book, get his book out there, his story, his life. I was relieved that the shoot passed without incident. He was happy to take my direction. He was even sort of playful at times and he was a model subject. We shot around 25 rolls, more than I would usually shoot for a magazine. It was a grey backdrop that was sort of a neo-impressionist, pointillist type of backdrop that had been sort of done with spray paint. A bit like this, really. This is the camera that I used. It's a Hasselblad. It's a square negative that it produces. It shoots on medium format film and it's very, very good quality. The lenses are Carl Zeiss. So I shot about three different types of lighting. Flash, using a ring flash and other flash with a soft box, tungsten and daylight. It's really important that the person commissioning you is spoilt for choice, that they can go off in lots of different creative directions it's fantastic if you can give them something that they hadn't anticipated. While we were shooting, Alex sort of got into the swing of it and was sort of winking and giving me a little finger and stuff. It was fun. The shoot was fun. We were just being playful and enjoying ourselves. And that's the best kind of approach, especially with somebody, somebody who's used to being in control. If you can get them to relax, just let go, then you can get some interesting results. Looking back on the images, one image sort of that I neglected at the time because of the fact that it got ruined in the processing machine, the way that he's looking up at the sky and the combination of the marks on the negative make for quite a powerful image. And it's also a nice reminder in a digital age the way things used to be done on film. At the end of the shoot, he signed a football for my assistant and I thought maybe I should have brought something along for him to sign and as he was signing this football he asked me if he could keep the turtleneck jumper that I brought along and I said of course you can and as a gift he gave me uh, even though I support Spurs he gave me a Man United shirt and he signed it and it's on my wall to this day.